the Mateo? Yes, exactly. It's like, like when someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... just... Love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah, why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. Well, it's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through okay. unity. Huh. Oh. Yes, Andreas. Okay. Yes. Unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. He's giving me a lot to think about. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Oh, Matteo, it's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Let's talk about unity. Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well... Does it mean anything else? Something... Secret? Really? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Okay. Is that Tommy Chong? Yes. some cult vibes a little bit oh, now that we have a little privacy why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here well it actually does really sound like tommy chong <laughs> it started with the discovery of these art anomalies the artifacts they're like nothing we've ever seen keeper gravitational distortion sub audio harmonic sequencing unidentifiable energy fluctuations well, i caught half of that so, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet, the risk is made anyway. So, you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. Well, that's, uh, we know it's a stretch, but we hope you can help us. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's what? an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. 
Let's go. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. Oh. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Whoa. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Infinitum addendum. That's an odd saying, very specific. Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of I can't take him seriously with that, um, that underwear on his head. Versions of this story. Funny story. If you if you look how it's shaped, I'm pretty sure he's got like a giant afro under there. Just like I'm sure when he takes it off, it actually makes an audible sound like, Phew! like just. Phew! It's like pops right out, you know, poof. Okay. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need okay. to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Here, I have something for you. That's nice, you. Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or... Well, whatever. Thanks for thinking of me. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Girl, you brought me money? Wait. You found money and you thought of me? <clears throat> I think this relationship's gonna work. Uh, I think I think this is gonna work just fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that they have yep. not demolished the structure, even if diplomacy has ended. Your abilities are truly amazing. The lives of nearly every individual in the settled systems are so heavily influenced by what goes on in this building. Yeah, I know. Watch. She's going to be like, I, I found this thing for you. I think you should have it. And it's like, you have received five gold. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Oh. And then she's just going to put icing on the cake. And she's like, I found this for you. Here's 25 extra carry weight. Oh. That's it. We're done. We're done. That's it. Oh, is your inventory updated? I'm telling you, Bianchi, something's uh -oh. wrong with the boots you sold me. I wear them to the metro. Suddenly, the shuttle runs late. I buy a cup of coffee, and the barista screws up my order. It's like I'm walking under ladders with a broken mirror in my pocket. And the only time it happens is when I'm wearing your boots. So, what do you want me to do about it? I want a damn refund. Fine, fine. I'll take the boots back. Just don't tell anyone you bought them from here. I got contacts on it. Stock may not be so reliable, but I got ways of getting it. You ask me, the real New Atlantis is down here. All that stuff topside. 
It's kind of sick. Couldn't help huh? overhearing that argument. Ugh, oh, right. The boots. I hate to admit it, but she has a point. She's the third customer to return the pair, all for the same reason. The boots might really be cursed. What? Have you tried wearing them yourself? I thought about it once, but then I thought better of it. <laughs> Best not to tempt fate. And besides, they're more of my size. Try destroying them? And risk releasing whatever's inside them? I've seen enough horror vids to know how this goes. Where'd you get them? Like most of my supply from one of my UC contacts. Or after the second customer returned the boots, I got curious. And the second? Digging. Turns out they were seized from a house of Arun sheep. That alone is enough to convince uh -oh. me something's amiss. I don't doubt it. Either way, it's bad for business. Okay. Hey, you're a pilot, right? Maybe you can do me a favor. I've heard of a UC station at the far end of the galaxy called the Den. You go there and stash these boots in a crate, and I'll give you credits as a compensation. Okay. Finally, someone to give these blasted boots the boot, if you pardon ha! the crate. Here, I'll have your credits for you when the job is done. Lucky boot? Dude, what is this? No, wait, wait I, the whole reason I want to talk to you. Hold on, come on, come here. Personally, this is I ridiculous. think daylight's overrated. I get absolutely. These boots are totally cursed? They probably are. Oh, there's another breach. A not stolen breach. Beowulf. Cool. Yeah, I am. You know what? Honestly, I am. I can say it now. I am bummed that stores just never seem to have rare, like blue, purple, or gold items. I wonder if this is a bug or something. I really wonder that. I feel like they. I feel like they should have those items. It's very weird. We saw them like we saw like a couple blue items at the beginning, and that was it. That was everything. Now we haven't seen anything since. Absolutely. Very weird. Hmm. We keep that for now. I really need to get the. I need to get the thing that lets us get a chance at um, research stuff going better. Take your time. Wait, I, I need to, how much we could sell with our girl? Watch your back out there. Yes, you need me? I am happy to help shoulder. Thanks, girl. I am... Wait, why is it not sorting? This is weird. There we go. Aren't you married? Uh, I was. Happy to make a deal. Take Lots happened time. since you've not been here. I got all day. Oh, he's already out. Okay. You need something else? I'll be here. Are there any other stores down here in the well? Gotta be right. Aren't you the one I saw running away from that crazy guy? Man, New Atlantis gets weirder by the day. Apex Electronic. What is this? 
No lawyer can't say I'll have what you need. You see something you like. Oh, yo, he's got resources. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We'll keep this guy in mind. I can have that, it's fine. Take care. You can get glue from the store as you come into New Atlantis after maxing out the store. Go sit on a chair for 24 hours. Buy glue, rinse, repeat. Oh, adhesive. That's what you're talking about? Signed up for a test pilot program just the other day. I'm not going to end up like these lifers and well rats. No way. Not me. Damn, girl. That's rude. I'm working on it. Taking the UC Vanguard exams. Saving up for my own ship. You know how it works. It's just taking a little longer than I expected. I'm a pilot too. Damn, hotshot. What are you doing down here then? This is the last place I'd be. Oh, okay. Later. <laughs> Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP, an A and B, B and E, or, and forbid, an MS. But at least then we wouldn't have to worry about a B or B. We run a number of social programs from financial aid to food banks. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Need to talk about the Pilgrim. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, huh. our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no. The Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of two that. I also hate the number two with a fiery passion. What did they mean each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up? It's part of our core principles. There's no God pushing us to do good for some eternal reward. We have to help each other because we choose to. If no one takes responsibility for making the settled systems better, then we're just leaving it to the tyrants to bully the rest of us. Oh, so it's not a religion at all. It's just a philosophy. Huh. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Okay. So, that's interesting, but where can we, where can we find out more about this? Can you tell me anything else about Unity? Besides what the Keeper would say about it? Sounds like a gathering point. Or a center. Or, in mathematics, it would mean one. Like the one. The first or the beginning. Thank you. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Hmm. Hi. How you doing? Let me take a look at your file. Wait, at the, here? Why here? Am I still loving the game? Yes! Big time. 
<clears throat> yep, I'm having a great time with this game. One could say I am loving it. my own eyes it is still hard to believe if we can avoid entering my initial building, thoughts change would... nope Uh, e. Johns, that's a really good point. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Yep. My space Jesus? Yes. Is there a type of weapon coming? Has Code done any reviews yet? Nope. Been on Twitch about 10 years. Haven't started. I do thoughts videos every now and then. I do not like being in small and closed spaces. And I've done an early thoughts video for this game, but I would not call it a review. Yeah. How many of the thousand planets has been explored? You know, like 10. We're almost there. Basically done. Zoo, thanks, man. visitor i have all the company i need but there is no company oh i know you talked to keeper achilles about the varun faith he knows not mm. the truth he sends another to ask more incessant questions the great serpent waits in the shadows he will entwine the universe and all but the faithful will be made as dust that is the truth no more no less. I admire your conviction. The knowledge of the great serpent sweeps away all concern. There is only his inevitable return and those he will spare. Nothing else. You wish to speak of the Keeper's Pilgrim, do you not? Oh. I will tell you of him and then you will leave. Jinan Varun okay. meets mm -hmm. the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent. He does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down. Sounds like a nice guy. But yeah. the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. <laughs> what? I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the Great Serpent casts to deceive the Faithless. Girl, what are you talking? Wait, wait. I think I understand. Do I? Then we are done. <laughs> Leave me. Chat, do you get it? Did you follow any of that? Did we just achieve Zen? What? Can we run through 
I'm done with that steak. Hi. Well, you're back. Giga chair? Giga learn? chair. Was there something hidden in their stories? Like we thought? Um. The enlightened story used the words second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? Dunan fought four times over 120 days. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? The Pilgrim contemplates infinitum addendum. Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, We'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Man, this is all so Let's much of a reach. See. I love it. We have something that could be cool. Drink some water before you crumble. Something that could We're point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. <laughs> <laughs>